You may know her now as Nick Jonas's beautiful new wife, or even as Alex Parrish from the TV series Quantico. But Priyanka Chopra's list of accomplishments goes way beyond that. This beautiful Bollywood star has stolen America's hearts and is changing the world with her philanthropy. Watch this video to learn the story behind Priyanka Chopra's rise to fame. Do you love catching up on your favorite celebs' backstories? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Trendy for more great videos. Now let's take a look at the whole story behind Priyanka Chopra's career. Priyanka Chopra recently got married to Nick Jonas. Yes, and as depressing as that is for the rest of us, there's much more to this stunning woman than just that. Who is this beautiful actress and why are we all so in love with her? Well, it kind of feels like it all happened overnight, right? If we're gonna look back on what really made Priyanka Chopra famous, we're gonna have to go way back to the beginning. Priyanka Chopra was born in Jamshedpur, Bihar, located in the northeastern region of India. Priyanka Chopra's parents are Ashok and Madhu Chopra, who both worked as physicians in the Indian Army. She also has a few cousins who are well-known Indian actresses, Paraniti Chopra, Miri Chopra, and Manara Chopra. I guess you could say Priyanka comes from a family of icons, so naturally, it's in her blood to be a world-renowned superstar. She first moved to the United States at the age of 12. She went on a family trip to Iowa that turned into Priyanka living in the U.S. until she was 17. During that time, she was in many theater productions and studied Western classical music. She moved back to India in hopes of becoming an engineer, but we all know that didn't work out, and for the better. Following her move to India, Priyanka attended the Army Public School at Barely, where she entered and won the May Queen pageant. It was during this time that the ageless beauty started to switch gears and set her sights on another beauty pageant title, the prestigious Miss India. The ever-charming and humble Priyanka didn't even think she'd do very well, saying, When I got the call, I didn't know how to respond. I didn't think I'd win. But as you guessed it, this star had talent, poise, and intelligence winning the judges over. While she may have only placed second, this this was a stepping stone into one of the biggest pageants out there. Priyanka took her Miss India crown all the way to the coveted Miss World pageant. Naturally, in the 2000 pageant, Priyanka's beauty and brains took the hearts of everyone and she was crowned Miss World, becoming one of five Indian women to ever take the title. You may think that this is the beginning of Priyanka Chopra's rise to fame, but this only set her sights on an even bigger industry, Bollywood film. The Miss World title had certainly brought Priyanka tons of attention. On the heels of international success, Priyanka Chopra turned her intentions towards a film career, and it didn't take long. In 2003, she made her Bollywood film debut in The Hero, Love Story of a Spy, which kicked off a promising lineup of films for her. Making a career for herself in Indian cinema, Chopra went on to star in a number of critically acclaimed films like Barfi and Agni Path. Priyanka took over the Bollywood industry, making five films, five films, just in 2005. Four, six films in 2005, and another six films in 2008. I guess you could say she has a pretty good work ethic. And in the 2009 film What's Your Rashi, she played 12 different roles. Maybe this was the hidden secret to Priyanka's rise to fame. Maybe as many films as possible in the shortest amount of time, and people will know your name. As if the world didn't already know who she was because of her pageant success. But this wasn't the end of Priyanka's film career. In the span of about a decade, Priyanka Chopra had starred in over 40 films but that didn't stop the ageless beauty from making more. In 2014, she starred in the title role of Mary Calm, a film based on the real-life story of the female boxing champion. The film was the first Hindi-made movie to premiere on opening night at the Toronto International Film Festival. It put Chopra in the global cinema spotlight. For this film, she got positive reviews from critics, and her performance received critical acclaim. This was one of many of the films she starred in that launched Priyanka into the American movie business. Even though she was already highly successful in the world of Bollywood films, it was in the year 2015 that most of America truly began to learn Priyanka Chopra's name. Making her most notable Bollywood to American crossover television debut, she was cast as an FBI agent named Alex Parrish in the show Quantico. It's said that Priyanka met an ABC executive at a dinner party and that they were incredibly taken aback by her global superstar energy. They said it was rare to meet someone who has the total package of beauty, intelligence, talent, warmth, vulnerability, generosity, and charitable spirit. The exec knew they wanted Priyanka on ABC as soon as possible. However,
Her, Priyanka said she wanted to make sure her role in American television would have a positive impact, just like she had been working so hard to do already in Bollywood. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Priyanka made that clear when she said she appreciates ABC's efforts to reflect diversity on their shows, and that she was honored by the opportunity to share my talent with a game-changing network. Sources say this interview alone may have been the thing to seal the deal for her role in the show. Priyanka Chopra made history and became the first South Asian lead actor in an American network drama series, and led to more huge films for her in both India and America. Perhaps the casting of Priyanka in this role was the real hidden story behind her rise to fame and global stardom, but we're not done yet. Her next American film, Baywatch, cast her as the villain opposite huge box office names like Zac Efron and Dwayne The Rock Johnson in 2017. Unfortunately, the film didn't get the greatest reviews despite all these superstars. Priyanka, however, won everyone over as Victoria, the film's villain in high heels, and was the highlight of the comedy. The movie's director, Seth Gordon, had originally wanted Priyanka to play another lifeguard but upon meeting her over Skype, decided to change what was supposed to be a male villain character named Victor to a female named Victoria. He said, I knew from my first conversation with Priyanka that she is an absolute killer. One Skype and it was a done deal. It's clear that Priyanka really has that special something that superstars have. Oh, did we mention that she's also a talented singer? Yep, it seems there's not much that Priyanka can't do. She has had songs in some of her films and has also worked with other globally known artists. It was actually music that first exposed her to the international market in entertainment with her 2012 music video In My City featuring Will I Am. The song is a tribute to Chopra's nomadic childhood and journey from being a small town girl to being a successful actor. She also had a single with Pitbull called Toxic that had a lot of commercial success in India. Maybe her next collaboration should be with her hubby, Nick Jonas. That's right, it's true, Nick Jonas is off the market. Our favorite Jonas brother and Priyanka started their coupling like any classic couple, with Nick sliding into her DMs. Mm -hmm. After Priyanka gave Nick her number, they apparently couldn't stop texting each other. She and Jonas actually had their first face-to-face -face encounter at the Vanity Fair's Oscar after party in 2017. A few months later, they stepped out together at the Met Gala with Priyanka wearing that unforgettable floor-length trench coat. In July 2018, Jonas had a Tiffany store in New York shut down allegedly to pick out a ring, and as they say, the rest is history. The couple wed in December 2018 at Umar Bawan Palace, Jodhpur, with traditional Hindu and Christian ceremonies. Let's be honest, the photos of the multiple ceremonies made a lot of us cry over the fact that Nick Jonas is no longer single, but also because everything and everyone looks so beautiful. Can you blame us? On top of her pageant success, her film career, her music, and her relationship with Nick Jonas, Priyanka Chopra also happens to be known for her philanthropy. Yeah, it's true. She's also an incredibly good person. She has been working with UNICEF for over 12 years and shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. A longtime advocate for aiding underprivileged children, she began the Priyanka Foundation as a nonprofit for chronically ill children around the world. The foundation aims to provide custom care to the children and their families. She donated over $70,000 in 2013 to the Navadi Hospital in Mumbai in order to build a cancer ward in honor of her late father. Priyanka is also a vocal feminist and has always been supportive of gender equality and education for young women. In 2010, she was appointed to the role of UNICEF's National Goodwill Ambassador for Child Rights and held the title for six years until she was made the International Goodwill Ambassador for Child Rights. She also supports a number of other charities working in children's education, environmental issues, green energy, and animal rights. Seriously, is there anything that Priyanka Chopra doesn't do? Another interesting career path that Priyanka has taken is that of an investor. This has probably helped her rise to fame as well as her bank account. One of the first acts as a startup investor was to help fund a coding education company called Holberton School. The school uses projects and group learning instead of more traditional courses to teach software development. The students really enjoy the style of just hanging out and learning, and they seem to really like Priyanka for their innovative schooling ideas. She seems to know who her audience is and how important they are to the growth of education. Priyanka is quoted as saying, geeks are taking over the world, and that she has no plans of letting them down. And speaking of taking over the world, we should probably add that Priyanka is probably going to do just that. She actually owns her own production company that she started with her mom called Purple Pebble Pictures, located in Mumbai, India. After many years in the film industry, Priyanka decided she wanted to run some of it herself. The company aims on producing small budget films and promoting new talent such as writers, actors, directors, and technicians. The production house has already produced several award-winning films and they show no signs of stopping anytime soon. 
It seems like Priyanka is always looking out for people and wants to promote good things. In the end, there may not be any kind of secret to the fame that has been following Priyanka since she was 18. This woman has poise, talent, intelligence, and that it factor that makes up any huge superstar. Globally known, ethically conscious, and drop-dead gorgeous, it would be weird if she wasn't incredibly famous. She also is best buds with the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has over 35 million Instagram followers, over a dozen awards and accolades, and has been on the cover of nine issues of Vogue India. But who's counting? Is there anything about Priyanka Chopra's story of her rise to fame that we missed? Or do you have a favorite movie you've seen her in? Leave us a message in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching.